Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel Smart Web Kit. I'm your front end developer Nathan, and this course I'm going to show you how to build a single page app with React and Charges. Let's do it. Um, make it clear that this course is not for uh, React beginners. Uh, if you would like to know React and uh, how what's the fundamental of the React uh, library, I would su suggest you go through other courses. But I will um, introduce uh, fundamental courses for React libraries uh, in the future as well. The main purpose of this course is to show you how can we utilize charges and how can we customize charges. I know the you, you might challenge me, um, he, hey, there are heaps of uh, options. Why do you choose uh, charges rather than uh, any chart, uh, D3, C3, or React VIS, uh, things like that. Uh, there are heaps of options, uh, but how do we make, make a decision? What library suits your case is the best? I would suggest we consider uh, from four different aspects. Number one is what the options this library provides. This is very important. What kind of options you are after? And this is purely based on requirements. For example, uh, you need uh, uh, nine charts, but with a stepped uh, nine charts effect, uh, you might be after a bubble chart or a bar chart or pie chart or a geo or even more complex uh, geographic charts. This is based based on your on your leads. Uh, you have to find if the library can provide this kind of feature or not. There's a wiki page. Um, simply does a comparison of uh, different kinds of libraries. I think that could be helpful. Um, for charges, it it supports most of the charts, including nine. All right, we find that hey, charge, charges is here. Um, it provides, see, it provides nine, nine charts, scatter charts, area charts, pie charts, um, and donut charts. And uh, definitely um, uh, bubble charts is provided because um, that's one of the business requirements from my case as well. Yeah, things like that. That that gives you the the the, the brief idea. Um, how do you uh consider uh what kind of charts you will be using from the first step, based on your need? Secondly, you might need to know if this library is easy to be customized or not. This is very important because um for most cases a default chart provided by the library might be very simple or ugly in probably doesn't come with the great business value. Uh, for most of the cases, you might need to uh, customize the chart, make it nicer and uh, uh, present much, uh, much better. So easy to be customized is definitely one of the key features um, you have to think about. And this can be done through multiple ways. And the most common way is by defining the uh, options of, uh, or configurations uh, which are provided by the, uh, by the library. Uh, also, you can use uh, callback functions for um, more advanced uh, uh, customizations. And uh, some library provides even more lower level uh, accessibilities to the chart. So you can actually hack the chart uh, by utilizing HTML5 canvas or by uh, customize your SVG uh, uh, HTML elements and things like that. Those three ways are most commonly used to customize your chart. And uh, thirdly, um, popularity and the community is definitely uh, worth con consideration. Because um, uh, when you are dealing with a, a library especially when uh, for difficult customizations, you have a lot of problems. You will have questions and you will need answers. Um, if it, whether if it is easy to find an answer from online from the community uh, is very important. So um, that has to be considered. 
the reason I chose charges is because it is uh, compatible with React and it comes with uh, uh, it is one of the most popular um, JavaScript libraries uh, from online. Also, the fourth consideration uh, is probably the budget uh, you are running. And are you looking for free uh, libraries or paid libraries? Definitely for paid libraries like ArmChart, AnyChart, it comes with fancy uh, presentations and more options, uh, but uh, it might not do the job sometimes uh, as, as you need. Yeah, th this is based on your research and, uh, and experiment. In, for me, I prefer uh, free libraries. And uh, uh, for those open source libraries, there are heaps of options like a React VRS, uh, which is created by Ubers, or, or BizChart, which is created by uh, Alibaba, and uh, including uh, charges. So um, based on those four points, um, let's move move on to the app we are going to build. Uh, so this is a single page app. It's built in React. And uh, so you can see I'm using two examples. Uh, one is a nine chart. Uh, the, the top one is a default view, but the middle one and the bottom one is a customized view. So in the future sessions, I will show you and walk through uh, from my code and how can we customize uh, a chart and make it present much nicer. For example, this stepped chart where you can even have uh, your customized tool tips. Uh, you see the price is formatted and uh, the the paddings, the, the grid lines, the spacing, and the legend is removed. And yeah, also for the bubble chart, that's even more complex and looks great. You see the default view is very simple. In, but for the custom view, custom view uh, we are using say like a dashed ring and triple ring and those kinds of things, and even uh, SVG icon, um, these kind of things, you can also um, drag and, and drag, drag and move, and zoom in. And this kind of level of uh, customization can be done with uh, with Charges.